Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, I want to talk about volume training. This is a topic I've addressed before, but I made a um, comment on the worldwide interwebs, social media about volume training, and somebody went off saying naturals can't do volume training, and I've addressed this before, but I want to talk about a practical way or how I approach volume training so it doesn't kill me so you can recover and how you can try volume training that you know in a manner that makes sense so guys before I get into that topic if you have a question for me this is hashtag ask B-H-U-D the big hairy ugly dude that's me there's a link below you can submit your question via that link it comes straight to my inbox the best questions I turn into videos just like this. So, volume training. I'm going to give you a real world method, what I do when I approach volume training. You guys know I'm a power builder. I like to start off my workouts with low rep sets for the bench press, uh, for the deadlift, for squats, etc. And then I move on to more bodybuilding style of work. So, when I want to switch to volume training like I did today, um, today I did back and biceps. I did 10 sets of dumbbell rows. I did 8 sets of seated cable rows, 6 sets of lat pull downs. So that's 24 sets for back and then I did 12 sets for biceps. So that's 36 sets in a workout that took me about an hour and a half. Now, if you listen to the consensus on the worldwide interwebs, um, that type of volume would kill me, would destroy me. You know what? It didn't destroy me, and here's why. And here's how you can try volume training. You don't combine heavy, heavy weight with volume training. What I did is I can do 150-pound dumbbell rows for about 30 reps. What I did was I, instead of doing 30 reps per set, I did 10 sets of five on dumbbell rows with 150. So I would do the left arm for five, uh, 10 sets of five reps. I'd do the left arm for five reps, right arm for five reps, and I'd keep going. And I did 10 sets for each arm. So when I use volume training, I dial back the reps or I dial back the weight a little bit. Now in seated cable rows, I can generally do a max set of like 250 by eight or whatever. I dropped it down to 165 and did eight sets of 10. So I dropped the weight a little bit, dropped the weight, and I did 10 rep sets. Now, obviously, I'm not pushing each set close to failure, but the cumulative volume is a very good muscle builder, as long as you're focused on progression. So on seated cable rows, I did 165 for eight sets of 10. Next time I go in, I'll bump the weight up again and try to get eight sets of 10 again. And if I can do that, then I'll bump the weight. If not, I'll continue to try to progress. So that's a good method. Lat pull downs, I did six sets with 120 for 10 reps. So the key point here to remember is that you have to drop the weight a little bit, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30%, whatever, and just do a higher volume of reps. Not just, don't think just about a higher volume of sets, but a higher volume of reps. So Basically, there's a big triangle. I've talked about this before. Volume, set volume or rep volume, intensity, which is weight relative to your one rep max, and frequency. If you want to do heavy work, it, think of it as a triangle that's balanced in the center or a plate that's balanced in the center. Um, if you do too much heavy work, you have to dial down the volume um, or the or the uh, frequency. If you do a lot of volume, you have to dial down the frequency or the intensity or the how heavy the weight is or how frequently you do it. So you can do volume training. You just have to do it less frequently and with little bit lighter weight. That's the key point to remember. Volume training isn't going to kill naturals. That's nonsense. Volume training where you're pushing every set for as many reps as possible, crushing those sets. There's no way I could do 36 sets in that manner. I would kill myself. It would probably destroy my joints. That's not smart. So remember, people that toss out generalizations don't understand the way training works. They think they do. They think they have an E degree, but they really don't. So just keep that in mind. 
So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.